Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking the time to like the videos and subscribe and be part of this weather community. Now, there are some extreme levels of drought going on. They are going to get worse, so I'm going to watch out for this. And we have some water uh, restrictions ongoing on some islands and some locations. Uh, clearly, the water shortages. The focus of this is uh, the uh, southeastern Caribbean, for the most part, eastern and southeastern Caribbean, back through parts of uh, South America, Trinidad and Tobago. Vago, we have been so dry. Parts of Guyana, we have been too dry. We work our way toward uh, Grenada, uh, watching St. Vincent and the Grenadines, for example, even stretching back toward the ABC Islands. A lot of us need rain. Last year at this time, I was tracking some of those water restrictions just to the north. I'll keep an eye on that, but I did my seasonal forecast, the winter forecast, and uh, rain has been a little bit above average in our northern zones and below average here. So unfortunately, that has kind of panned out for this area. We're watching the crops, agriculture taking a big hit, and and an earlier start to the wildfire season. Let me show you what's next, what's coming down the road, kind of where we are. This is the outlook for May. By the time we get into May, we're going to see that rain chance really increasing. And you can see it here, this surge of moisture. I was talking about this in yesterday's video. So we are going to see things turn the corner, but not yet. It's going to be a good six to even eight weeks before we get that a better chance of rain. And not only is this rain, we expect to get some rain as we work our way into May, but this is above the average rain chances. So that is a big change as we get into May. I had more on that in yesterday's video. I took you into the outlook for the start of hurricane season. Now, look at the last 30 days, and this is uh, almost identical to what I, I had for our winter forecast, where you're seeing kind of this green here, uh, Cuba, parts of Jamaica, uh, parts of Haiti, closer to Jacamel, then we swing back toward Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, Florida, above average rain. Now, not to say we don't need rain in these spots. We definitely do. We we need some rain in parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, but it has been above average for the dry season in extreme uh, northeastern sections of uh, the uh, uh, Caribbean, as Eastern Caribbean. As you get back toward Guadeloupe, we've been a little bit above average. To the south, though, it has been so, so dry. And even parts of uh, the DR, we have been dry. Puerto Rico, drier than average. You get back toward Venezuela, drier than average. ABC Islands. So the last 30 days, we have been super dry in some locations. Now, the next two weeks, unfortunately, uh, what we saw the last 30 days, that's going to hold for the next at least couple of weeks. The next couple of weeks, this shading you're seeing here, these kind of brighter colors, that's drier than average or way drier than average conditions. And that's why I have a bigger concern for the water restrictions and watching the uh, crops or agriculture, all of that. We're going to be seeing things just getting worse in some spots and keeping an eye on parts of uh, Central America as well. And of course, my friends in Texas, we have been getting hit hard over the last year or two with areas of not only severe weather, but, but drought in many locations, and it will be drier than average. Now, the next couple of weeks, that does coincide with the temps. Usually when we're drier, we're hotter, and sometimes when we're, we're that, we're going to have lower air quality with some dust mixing in and that sort of thing. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to have above average temperatures. Yeah, we expect it to be warm to hot this time of year, but above average numbers. So the next couple of weeks, drier than average, hotter than average, and on top of that, that's just going to pile on uh, to the uh, issues we have now with the drought. And it looks like that could last through April, but I showed you May. I like to lead with some good news. That's why I was showing you May. We're going to start to turn the corner and get some more moisture. More on that in yesterday's video. I was covering that. And you see again, as we work our way through the day, a lot of the fronts sing to the north, scattered showers possible in the Bahamas with one front clipping in mind. It's that time of year the fronts stay up to the north, and that's where all of that action is. So we're kind of waiting on the wet season at this point. So it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, time. So I'll keep an eye on areas of smoke, the wildfires, I'll do my best to update you on where I think, uh, where, where we could get some rain and the potential of more water restrictions. Keep me posted as well on what you have or don't have uh, in the uh, comments section. Of course, we need to fill up some of these uh, cisterns. A lot of the river levels are running way too low. So one front, I'll zoom down into Canada in a second. One front moving by, moved off the east coast of the US. Here comes that next one. now. 
parts of Texas will get some welcome rain, but it kind of moves in and moves out. As you know, in Texas, it has not been enough at all. And you see here again, some of this rain stretching all the way up toward the Great Lakes. So here's our next system. I'll zoom down into the Caribbean in a second. Most of this moisture stays up to the north and we're kind of deeper into the winter. It's almost spring, which starts in a couple weeks. So the fronts stay up here. It's not like January where they dive down into the Caribbean. So we'll see this system moving by, but still eventually a chance of showers for the weekend uh, as we get into Saturday, Southeast US, and then eventually over toward the Bahamas. They may clip us by in uh, parts of uh, Cuba, but this is the outlook as we work our way into our Saturday as another system moves in. And keep an eye on the Pacific Northwest and parts of Western Canada. We're going to see another system diving into the Pacific Northwest of the US. You see that one there, but again, all of this action to the north and yet again over toward New England and the Atlantic region of Canada. We're going to see uh, that system winding in with some rain and snow, a couple systems back to back. So we get a look at the outlook today. Now it's not to say we can't see a shower. You see there, look at Trinidad, for example, a passing shower is possible today. It's just so limited and it just doesn't put a dent in some of the rain deficits. That's a problem. Even if we get a shower, it just doesn't do a whole lot. As we work our way forward, as we in Panama too, we have been so, so dry. I was highlighting the uh, Panama Canal a couple weeks ago. We work our way into tomorrow afternoon, and you see again, not much more than a spotty shower. Northern Venezuela, we're dry. Suriname, we could see a shower. Guyana, we're going to be on the drier side. Trinidad and Tobago. St. Lucia, Barbados, passing shower. Same thing in Dominica, Antigua, and Barbuda. Not much, and you see here, this is Saturday, there's that next front but it stays generally up to the north. You see that front just kind of winding, uh, winding by, and we may get a stray shower as we work our way from Guatemala, Belize, Mexico, but still mainly dry even in here in Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba. It would just be a passing shower. Haiti, not much at all in the uh, rain bucket. Same thing as we work our way toward uh, the Dominican Republic. So we get a look at uh, today here uh, in eastern Canada. Very tricky forecast. I know the forecasters up there give them a little grace. They are doing the best they can with this uh, system. It's kind of a really fine line with some rain and snow. Rain in here, snow's going to wrap in. You get over toward uh, Newfoundland, we're going to see that snow that will be uh, wrapping in. Uh, New Brunswick, uh, some of us have some rain, southern tier, uh, and then we get into some snow on the back side of the system. So that'll be working by tomorrow morning. Still some of that snow trying to wrap in. Even over toward Nova Scotia, we may still have some snow showers tomorrow morning and then gradually winding down. But still, as we work our way into our Friday evening, still eastern end of uh, Newfoundland, we could see again some of that snow. And then yet again, look at Saturday, another system bringing some rain to the mid-Atlantic, getting closer to New England. Again, uh, this time of year, it's really, you don't get as, as many big snow systems. You can still, uh, but the snow on the north side of this mixing over in parts of Maine. And then as we work our way into sun, Sunday, we'll watch kind of a similar setup trying to move in Sunday into Monday for the Atlantic region of Canada. So I'll keep an eye on that uh, for us. Now, as far as the seas go, things have been a little more settled, Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. I meters down here. Here's feet over here. Of course, with these fronts that pass by the U.S., things are definitely uh, higher, choppy over toward uh, Bermuda. But things will start to build a touch. This is as we work our way into tomorrow. So things build a couple meters in the central Gulf of Mexico, a couple meters in the uh, central Caribbean. You see that as that next front starts to work in. It will be a bit choppier at times as we work our way into the Gulf of Mexico. This is on Saturday. Again, Atlantic waters, of course, higher. And then you see here, again, with that front that's passing by, it's going to be a bit choppier, even the uh, Bay of Campeche. This is by the time we get into Sunday. Central uh, Caribbean, we'll see some of those uh, seas running at about uh, two meters, so upwards of about uh, six to about eight feet in the uh, Caribbean. So things will get a little bumpier out there. Now, Jamaica, I mentioned the passing shower. We're looking at a 20% chance the next couple of days. The rain chance just stays so low. Cayman Islands, same thing. 10 to 20% chance, and that's it. We work our way back toward Trinidad. Now today, I showed you on the model, a little bit of green, Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, we may catch a shower, and that's good. We will take it. It's just not gonna uh, really change much as far as our deficits are concerned. Barbados, same thing, a 30% chance, 20 to 30% chance for my friends in St. Lucia. Isolated shower chance, Grenada, we're looking at about a 20 to 30% chance. Same thing, St. Vincent of the Grenadines. We are dealing with uh, conditions that have been way too dry. Martin rain chance stays on the, the smaller side. 10 to 20% chance in Dominica. Saturday with that easterly flow, we may kick in an extra shower on Saturday. Guadalupe about a 20 to 30% chance. 10 to 20% chance in Antigua and Barbuda. So watching the Northeastern Caribbean, while we're not in those extreme levels of drought, we could get
could get there in a hurry. St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Montserrat, Rain Chance stays on the small side. Same thing, Anguilla and St. Bart's. And the same thing, St. Martin, Seba, and Stasia. Rain Chance stays very low, and that could hold for the next couple of weeks. Puerto Rico, Rain Chance bouncing around at about 30% the next couple days. U.S. and British Virgin Islands isolate it passing shower, Dominican Republic hit or miss shower, and my friends in Haiti, thank you for sharing this channel across Haiti, uh, about a 10, 20% chance of mainly a few sprinkles or a very brief shower, higher terrain, we may see uh, one or two. Uh, the Bahamas, uh, northern Bahamas today, with that front moving by, a few scattered showers, Turks and Caicos, not a lot, 10 to 20% chance as we get into Cuba, so staying mainly dry from our western, central, into eastern end of Cuba, Belize over toward uh, the Yucatan, get back toward Cancun, Cozumel, uh, rain chance stays on the small side, and it will. It'll stay on the low side. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire also monitoring some of that dust that has uh, been around. Rain chance stays low. Rain chance at about 50% tomorrow in Bermuda. We'll see, especially late today, tonight, into tomorrow morning, that's when that front is going to pass by. So it's not going to be all day stuff, but tonight we'll see a better chance of showers. Costa Rica bumping up some on Saturday, and we work our way into Guyana. Rain chance a little bit lower and about a 30% chance as well as we get into Suriname, and the rain chance stays minimal as we get into northern Venezuela. All right, drought conditions, yeah, they're going to get worse. I'll monitor those water shortages. Keep me posted in the comments uh, too. Hotter temps, lower air quality, trending wetter though in May. By May, we'll start to get some more moisture moving in, which is normal, but it's actually going to be even above average. So that's some really good news. May into June, of course, the hurricane season starting on June 1st. So thank you for sharing this information. Keep me posted in the comments. Have a wonderful rest of your day.